Continuing with our topic, hair and scalp care, we're focusing on chemical texture services. Chemical texture services are hair services that cause a chemical change within the hair's natural wave and curl pattern. Permanent waving is adding wave or curl to the hair. Relaxing is removing curl, leaving the hair smooth and wave free. Curl reforming, also known as soft curl permanence, is loosening overly curly hair and making the existing curls larger or wavy. Let's take a look at hair structure. Starting with the cuticle, which is the tough exterior layer of the hair. The cuticle protects the cortex and the medulla. The cortex is the middle layer of the hair located directly beneath the cuticle layer. So everything happens in the cortex. And you also may see a term cortical layer, which also means cortex. Medulla is the innermost layer of the hair, often called the pith or the core. It is known that fine hair does not have a medulla, which is why the granules are very tight and close together and are round. We need to know the importance of the pH scale. The pH scale is numbered from 0 to 14. Anything below 7 is acid. Anything above 7 is going to be alkaline. Most of our chemical texture services will take the hair to an alkaline state and the pH for hair, skin, and nails is 4.5 and 5.5. Texture is the thickness or diameter of individual hair strand classified as fine, medium, and coarse. Fine hair has the smallest diameter and is more fragile, easier to process, more susceptible to damage from chemical services. Also make a note that fine hair may have up to four to six layers of cuticle. Medium hair texture is the most common texture, and coarse hair texture is the largest diameter, more resistant to processing. So coarse hair may have up to 18 layers of cuticle before even getting to the cortex. Density is the number of hairs per square inch. So the average number of hairs per square inch is 2,200, and density comes in three categories, low, medium, and high, also known as thin and sparse, medium, thick, and dense. So how much hair can you grab? That's density. And texture is the individual hair strand. Porosity is the ability of the hair to absorb moisture. First category is low resistant. Chemical services performed on hair with low porosity require a more alkaline solution. You might have that on your exam. Average is considered to be normal hair will process according to manufacturer's directions. So if the manufacturer's directions say 20 minutes, it's gonna process probably in 20 minutes. High and extreme is considered overly porous hair and is often a result of previous overprocessing. Chemical services perform the overly porous hair requires less alkaline solutions with the lower pH. You may have that on your test as well. Elasticity is the ability of the hair to stretch and return to its original length without breaking. Wet hair can stretch 50%, dry hair can stretch 20%, and elasticity is the ability of the hair to hold a curl. If the hair stretches without breaking, it's considered normal. If you stretch the hair and it does break, it's considered low. So think of a rubber band. Here are the elements of the hair and also the, the percentages, just in case if you have this question on your exam, like what is the percentage of hydrogen? Here is a quick reference chart for the bonds of hair. We have the types, the strength, how they're broken, and how they're reformed. Let's look at flat irons as an example. The bonds, the hydrogen bonds, are broken by heat and they're reformed when the hair is cooling. And a lot of times we make several passes because we're looking for the degree of straightness when we're flat ironing hair. But let the hair cool down a little bit. Let those hydrogen bonds reform. Let's check for knowledge. Ask yourself these couple of questions to see how much you retain the information on chemical theory. Next topic is going to be permanent waving.